What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy and paste and offset our BIM. Okay, so last video, we learned how to modify our BIM system. So this time, let's try to copy and paste our uh, BIMs up to the roof. And then after that, I'm going to teach you how to offset your uh, framing or BIMs to accommodate Let's say in this project, it will going to use a bar joist for the roof. So I'm going to teach you how to offset down our beam to accommodate the bar joist seat. Okay, so let's uh, learn first how to copy and paste. Very simple. So what I'm going to do is um, on level 2, I go to level 2. Okay, so from here, I'm going to use a crossing selection. So when I say crossing selection... It's going to be selection from right going to the left. Okay. Or you can also use window selection as long as all the elements is inside the box. Okay. The difference between the window selection and then the crossing selection is that for you to be able to select your element using the window selection, it should be completely inside the box. Just like this one. Uh, window selection is from left to right. Okay, so as you can see, in order for me to select this beam, for example, here is the beam here, I need to completely place that inside my box. See? Right? So it should be completely inside the box. That is your window selection. But if it is crossing selection, as long as it touches the box automatically it will select the object right so let me repeat again so this is window selection you see it cannot select so it needs to be inside the box completely so that's the window selection now crossing selection is like this so you only need to touch the object and then it will going to be selected all right so it's up to you but in my case i'm going to use crossing selection so i select all and then we use filter here to refine the element category selected in our view. So I'm going to select filter. So these are the categories that were selected. So we are not going to select all of this. So I'm going to select your check none. So I just need here my structural beam systems and then the prim uh, primary framing and secondary framing. Okay, so these three only. And then after that, I'll just select your OK. All right, so there you go. So after you select the objects that you want to copy, so let's go now here on our clipboard. So there's the copy the clipboard. So select that one, click, and then you will notice our paste here will become visible now. So it's now activated. So click the drop down arrow, and then you can see here several options. So we are going to assign two selected levels. So let's select that one. And then as you can see, you are now able to select here the level where you want to place your uh, beams. So I'm going to select, uh, let's say, uh, 3, 4, hold control, 3, 4, 5, and then root. Okay, so before I do this, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select the 3D view so that I'll be able to see it uh, copy, copied up to the roof. So let me go to the modify. Don't worry, it's already been copied. So we are now just going to paste it. So assign, uh, align to selected levels, uh, 3, hold control, 4, 5, and then roof, and then select your OK. Okay, so it's now processing the pasting of the uh, framing. All right, there you go. So that's how you copy. So let me just quickly change the visual style here to shade it. All right. So there you go. So that's how you copy your uh, copy and paste your frames. So you can also use that in other elements, not only on your framing or BIM. You can use the copy, uh, copy paste, 
uh, tool in other elements as well. There you go. Now, the next thing that uh, we are going to do is um, I'm going to select here the roof. Okay, so here's my roof. So since this building, we're going to use a bar joist for our roof. So we are going to set our beams down. So let's say 2.5 inches to accommodate the bar joist seat. Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove first some of the filler beams here because they are just going to wind up as being a joist. You see this um, frames here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and then right click. I'm going to select all instances and then visible in view. Okay. And then after that, I'm just going to delete that. I don't need these uh, filler beams. There you go. Okay, and it just so happened that the four beams here was also deleted, which is what I do not want to happen. But anyway, I'm just going to use crossing selection to select these four beams. And then let's use our uh, mirror draw axis. Just click that one because we're going to copy that to the other side again. There you go. And then modify. So in 3D view, this is now how it looks like. Okay. All right, so no more filler beams at the top. So what we are going to do now is we are going to offset our beams, our horizontal beam, okay? Uh, let's say 2.5. Okay, so to do that, let's select one horizontal and then hold control. Let's use that one. I think I can also use crossing. I oh, know, don't use crossing. So I'll just use... Uh, Manual click, hold control, select all the horizontal elements. Okay, so make sure you select all of that. Select all. Okay. Select all the horizontal elements. Then I think I'm going to include this one as well. This one. Hold control, hold control, click, hold control. Let's click this one and then click this one. All right, so after selecting all the beams that we want to offset down by, let's say, 2.5 or whatever distance that you want to accommodate your bar joist for the roof. So after you select it, so you can now go to the properties. And then you see there's now here the start level offset and then end level offset. So this is what we need. So from the start level offset, so you can type here 2.5 and then the inches symbol. And then you click here again on the end level offset. Automatically, it's now converted to fraction. So two and a half inches. So here, 2.5, then the inches. Okay enter all right and then after that uh, you can select uh, apply or it's now auto applying itself and let's wait there you go so this is just natural so element will be detached from its associated plane so that's okay so you just need to select all right okay okay then select modify and then let's check this out in the 3d view Preview this one and let's zoom in. Oh, sorry, sorry, there's something wrong. It should be minus, okay? Ah, uh, okay, so it should be minus because I key in positive. All right, it's all right. So let's do this again. Oh, so new, okay? Uh, such a pain. Sorry about that. So it should be minus 2.5. <laughs> okay, click. Just click again. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Horizontal. Okay. Click. Click. All right. So this two here. This one. This one. This one. This one. What else? 
Okay. So, should be minus 2.5. Enter. Oops. Should be minus 2.5 inches. Enter. So, minus 2.5 inches. Enter. Okay. Do not type 2.5 uh, minus 2.5 only. Because if you do that, the Revit, uh, Revit will read it as feet. Okay, so it will become two, uh, minus 2.5 feet. So you need to include the inches symbol. Okay, so select apply. And there you go. Select modify. Let's go to the 3D view. And there you go. So there's the offset of 2.5. Okay. All right. Okay. So basically, that's how you uh, use the copy and paste uh, feature when you want to modify or duplicate your elements and as well as offsetting or modifying the beam elevation. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.